Binomial distributions based on success or failure. So success, failure probabilities. It's either successful or, or it's not. In the first example, a manufacturer of electronics components produces precision resistors designed to have a tolerance of plus or minus 1%. From quality control testing, the manufacturer knows that about one resistor in six, so that's important, one resistor in six, is actually within 0.3% of its nominal value. A customer needs three of these more precise resistors. What is the probability of finding exactly three, exactly three such resistors among the first five tested? So the probability of success is one out of six. So that's your success. Failure then is the opposite, five out of six. And by opposite, I mean both these values have to equal one because we're talking about probability. And because it is either successful or not, we have two items. So one six plus five six equals one. So we're trying to find the probability of three resistors amongst five. So looking at our formula here at the bottom of the slide and filling in our values, we're choosing from five, so it's five, choose three. P is your success and Q is failure. So P is one over six and we want three of those the probability of x so x is three and it follows through which means the probability now of failure would be five over six to the exponent two notice that the three and the two add up to five and so when you do that calculation, you will get 0 0.0321. So now expectation in a binomial distribution. And the formula is here at the bottom of the slide. Tan's family moves to an area with a different telephone exchange. So they have to get a new telephone number. Telephone numbers in the new exchange start with 446, and all combinations for the four remaining digits are equally likely. Tan's favorite numbers are prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7. So let's calculate the probability for the number of these prime digits in Tan's new telephone number. So the probability is going to be 0 0.4, which of course is four out of 10. Those are the numbers he likes, he likes four of them. So the probability of success is four over 10. And so the probability now of failure is the opposite, six out of 10 or 0 0.6. And let's show now the probability of each one. So the number of primes that he's going to get is the first part of our chart. And the probability of such will be the second half. So we could have zero primes, one prime, two primes, three primes, or four. So the probability of having no primes would be four choose zero, multiplied by success to the zero, and failure to the exponent of four. And that's gonna equal 0 0.1296. I'll just do a few of these, I won't do them all. So four choose one, if he's getting one prime, and you'll notice the exponents now change. We have one, 
and 3, and those two exponents have to add up to 4. So that calculation becomes 3, 4, 5, 6. Three, 4, choose 2. So 0 0.4 squared, 0 0.6 is going to be squared as well because it has to add up to 4. And then etc. for the next two items. So there you go. There's the probability for each possibility of the number of primes in Tan's new telephone number. So moving on to part B, what is the expected number of these prime digits in the telephone number? Now, we can use the expected value calculation, which is adding up the expected probability. So it's 0 0.1296 plus 1 times... 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 2 times the same value, plus 3 times, then the calculations here, and 4, 0 0.0256. And when you add all those up, you're going to get 1.6. So that's the expected value. Um, calculation, and that's determined from your probability distribution in your chart. So what happens is you take the number of primes multiplied by the probability, and you simply add all of those up. Now there actually is a simpler way. So we can take this formula here at the bottom of your screen, and get to the same place much, much quicker because it's a binomial distribution. So the expected value is the number of primes times the probability of success, which is 1.6. Counting candies. The Chocolati Candy Company makes candy-coated chocolates, 40% of which are red. The production line mixes the candies randomly and packages 10 per box, which means you have a 40% chance of getting a red candy. So the probability of that happening is 0 0.04. So what is the probability that at least three candies in a given box are red? So at least three which means we're trying to figure out the probability of three or more. And that would actually equal one minus the probability of less than three. So that's going to equal one minus the probability of zero red, one red, and two red. Okay, so let's key in our numbers. So one minus, and the probability of zero red. So out of the 10 candies, we're choosing zero red ones. So the probability of success is 0 0.4, and the exponent value is zero. The exponent value for failure is 10. So notice that each one of these um, situations now is going to add up to 10. So now we're going to subtract out 10, choose 1 red candy. So that's 0 0.4 to the exponent 1. 0 0.6 to the exponent 9. Again, 1 and 9 adds up to your choose of 10. And then we're going to do 10, 10 choose 2. So 0 0.4 the exponent squared, 0 0.6 to the 8. And that will equal approximately 8327. 
So there's our probability of at least three candies in a given box. Now, what is the expected number of red candies in the box? And for this, the expected value is the number times its probability. So we have 10 as our number and our probability of 0 0.4. So we are going to expect four red candies in our box. Thanks for listening.